Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the morgue security cameras. A guy named Vyacheslav Rinko. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Grim's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the Ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over. have been nothing. Holy man! I'm going to ask you some questions. When I think you're lying, I'll do this. I... Who do you work for? Vyacheslav Grinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nikolas. Where do I find Grinko? He is meeting Mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe Mass, some computer guy. He has access to Nikoladze's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gotta be something bad if Nikolaz is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand that we never talked. I understand. Good.
Convince me we never talked. If anybody finds out, Grinko will murder me. And you're frightened of Grinko. God, yes! talk about in that elevator. I'll need to deactivate the courtyard. Look, it's got a bell. I think he's still then breathing. Do it. I thought the kitchen was closed. It's a special order for Colonel Kabayashvili. Ah, excellent. <laughs> May I? Please. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Got an incoming colonel, Fisher. Make the most of him. You'll need him conscious and cooperative if you want to unlock the retinal scanner sealing the door to the courtyard. That's detailed intelligence. Knowing everything is my job.
Glass elevators in motion. Make with the laser, Mike Fisher. It's mission critical that we hear what Grinko and Mass say before they reach the top. Abigail, what did you rip it out with? Pliers? We had some difficulty with Blossom's ship. You can see fibers of muscle tissue still attached. Nasty. Nasty. You're in the wrong line of work to avoid getting gore on your hands. Whatever Nicolaj does in Azerbaijan is his own conscience's burden. You are just a tool? You're a tool. I'm the technology. I'm the cleanup man. All the blood's on yours and Nicolaj's hands. I'm clean. And it is? It's what? Clean. Azerbaijan? Goddamn immaculate. Except for the files Nicolaj insists on keeping on his own machine. You need to talk to that. Sounds like we found the subdermals. I get nervous when the bad guys start making blood jokes. That conversation's going straight to the Joint Chiefs, and we're going to need more. Nicolad's computer. You guessed it. Get inside his office and access that machine. Alarms aren't mission critical anymore. We're moving into Fifth Freedom territory.
What was that? Intruder! Christ almighty. What do you have? Bad things. Keep transmitting. We need to see how far this goes. What's going on? Corpses, refugee camps. They've had commandos at work in Azerbaijan for weeks. How the hell did we miss this? Keep transmitting. Alert! All men to full alert! We have an intruder in Nikolaj's office! Wake up, you bastard! I want troops in there now! Trinko, sir. I've got three men about to breach Nikolaj's office. Enemy power! Oh. <laughs> Nikolaj's computer. This stuff is going straight to the president. We might be headed for military action and we're going to need airtight proof. That's the end of it. Thank God. What exactly is going on? You wouldn't believe the numbers. Nikolaj has been systematically murdering his way through Azerbaijan. And we didn't know about it. Nobody did. What does he want? You can watch the news later. Rendezvous with Junior Wilkes for extraction. This office is clear. We're heading for the rear gangway. Who's there? Come out! I want an update. Why hasn't the intruder been caught yet? Do we have men on the real stairwell? About to reach the stairwell, sir. did you find in there, man? Lambert's flipping out big time. What's he saying? That we're going to war. 